ANC President Cyril Ramaphosa is expected to give a comprehensive reflection on the key achievements of the government of national unity this afternoon. That's going to be happening a little bit later on. But we do understand, of course, that the ANC's first Deputy Secretary General, Nomvula Mkonyane, is currently briefing the media. Let's see if we can listen in. ...about what the ANC is doing today, and he will, she will elaborate further about uh, Comrade DSG. Thank you very much, Comrade uh, Matlengi, our national spokesperson, member of the National Executive Committee. Good evening, members of the media and viewers at home. We're here to actually affirm what we had committed in our elections, including in our manifesto, that uh, we have learned the lessons, and one of those lessons is that we have to remain in contact with the people of South Africa. Here today, we're demonstrating our about accountability where we will use this platform to amongst others thank the voters thank our voters. most importantly also account to the nation how we have fed under these uh, uh, new developments new challenges and being able to keep the country together being able to execute the mandate in our manifesto it is about a reflection it is going to be rolled out from here and then we go throughout the corners of of the country to go back again and account it's about accountability and the progress made so far um, i think it's as succinct as that i now open for any questions i will start to my right um, with uh, luma and then we proceed to newsroom and sabc uh, my name is Kona from the Melon Guardian. This is saying that they are not going to remain white because they do not believe on the GM. And secondly, also, as you are helping leader as well, uh, what do you make about the issues that the DA said about the whole day and what the DA said yesterday about the From Newsroom Africa. In your reflections, will you also be looking beyond just the party to party relations within the GNU? But for instance, uh, you know, issues like the parties attacking some of your leaders, as has been said when you're talking about Deputy President Omar Shatila, some feel that he's being attacked the same as uh, can be said about. What are you reflecting in terms of that? And then also just to talk about the health of your branches, because that has also been number of questions mm. I'll hand over to the DSG before we lose our Thank you very much. This reflection is about um, what we're mandated to go and do post the 10th of May. We're mandated to prove the way we work. We're mandated to go and delivery. We're mandated to go and work that South Africans have voted. And uh, it is what you all know as the government of national unit. We also voted uh, to ensure that uh, we leave no one behind. And hence today's uh, platform for us as the African National Congress is a days, and as well as being able to leave to what is contained in our manifesto about accountability. As for what each party says and what each party does, remember we're in the GNU not because we've collapsed any party, including the African National Congress. Otherwise, we'd have had a report by a collective that constitutes a government of national unit. We remain an independent organization. We are reflecting what we have been able to do. Most importantly, also, we know every political party has intentions. will not allow a situation where individual leaders of the NC, either at the provincial level are pitted against by the part of the GNU. They have authority to, to, to make any reflection or 
impression that they can determine who has to lead and need to constitute. We have seen what the DA does with us in the Western Cape. They've removed 15 municipalities, nine municipalities. They've gone out to form new coalitions. Even you, members of the, of the media, you've not gone back to them and asked them, why are you doing this outside of the NC? Conditions and that does not mean anyone is excluded. The situation with Gauteng and as well as uh, with metros here in the in the in the in the in the province of Gauteng. The the third thing is about the state of our branches and stuff. I think you know that the last time we were in a meeting with um, Gauteng Post KwaZulu Natal, we resolved that we'll visit all our provinces. Um, dive deeper in reflecting on the state of the organization. A 112 year old organization, an organization that exists in over 3,000 wards, an organization that has got thousands and thousands of members, can't actually resolve the reflection on the state of the organization within a short period uh, uh, such as end of till now. We want to reflect seriously into that and have an appreciation as to what needs to be done. We do not want to preempt any feedback that comes also from the different provinces that we be interacting with. The issue of Comrade Obet Babela, I don't understand. You say you saw the letter and I did respond to you that that letter but now that you found the letter I have I have said it it was a misrepresentation. It was not a mandated position. It was never a view on how Morocco relates and how Morocco tries to actually circumvent processes that must be inclusive so that we find peace. At this moment, nobody was mandated by the African National Congress, and hence the NC has taken a stance in that regard. I think I've tried. Thank you very much. Thank you, DSG. I'm going to take a, the second round. I'll uh, start with SABC. I'm going to take my colleague over here, News 24, of course, and um, Times Live. And then I will um, come back. just take about it. Uh, Mr. Miguel Marcelo from the SABC. Mr. Kutani, are you, as the official of the AMC, not worried about the utterances of your Secretary General, Figuil and Badula, particularly when it pertains to the battle that is still really there between himself? And the provincial leadership of the in particular, Mr. Sophie, are you not worried? Do you have a discussion around this particular issue, particularly after some of those uh, attacks that he had placed to Payaz uh, Sufi yesterday in an interview with another with another? On the issue of your organisation and the metro, is there is the centre holding, particularly on the metros? Are you? that you have raised, uh, the ANC has had an opportunity of meeting with the person of the ANC in Gauteng, as well as uh, having an appreciation of what was said and what was actually interpreted as his utterances. Where we are today, we can safely say the organization and about what has happened and what is evolving. You can see Chairperson of the NC in Gauteng will be leading a delegation, branches and structures of the NC, to part of the reflection of the And I think for now, we would want to leave all matters um, to them last week, that there are no issues between Lutuli House, the National Executive Committee, and the Executive Committee of uh, the ANC in Gauteng. Unfortunately, have not an opportunity of picking up some insinuations that you are referring, you are referring to. But for now, there are no organizational issues. If there are issues of personalities, of course, those are issues that uh, we will have to manage so that then they don't flow into the organization.
Oh well, the issue of um, of our relationship with Morocco, we stand with the people of Western Sahara. We support the efforts that have been made on the continent and also our own strategic allies such as Algeria in giving permanent solidarity and uh, support to the people of Western at, at no point has there won't be a need for all parties to actually come together. Where we are now, we expect everybody to honor the resolutions of the United Nations as well as the position of the AU to Western Sahara. So the, our position has not changed and nobody has been made to change that position. Our resolutions have not changed. Um, until now, have no, no or intention or appetite in Morocco when Morocco has undermined what has been a UN declaration in Sahara. The, the next issue that you asked me, we're not filing another motion. We are presenting, they call them memorials, we are presenting evidence, evidence to back up our case in the court. And that evidence is informed by real life in Palestine, real life in Gaza, and of now late what has happened in Iran, what has happened in Lebanon. And um, remember, it, 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 it's initiated through the organization that belongs here. And government has been able to make South Africans to have an appreciation. We are sure that we've got a case, and until now, nobody has got any other evidence that is contrary to what our government is able to present before the courts. Uh, you will pardon us, uh, the name of the DSG is Bunda, so you can only imagine. <laughs> I want to come this side, because I've not had a chance to uh, tell you. See, I didn't ask for All right, we remain an independent party. Well, those were the words of ANC's first Deputy Secretary General, Nomvula Mokonyane. She was speaking outside the Lutuli House, uh, addressing the media there. Of course, uh, this is happening ahead of ANC President Cyril Ramaphosa's briefing. He will be providing a comprehensive reflection on the key achievements of the Government of National Unity later this afternoon, we understand. Of course, she's responded to a range of issues, including their the frictions that are already starting to be seen between the DA um, and the ANC in the GNU. She's also um, talked about the underlying issues that we've also seen between the ANC and the provincial ANC um, in Gauteng. Um, as you know, the GNU does comprise of uh, 10 political parties and it is marking 100 days since the constituting of the seventh administration. We've heard from other parties, including the DA, that earlier last week said that um, it in the main wants to remain in the GNU, but there are four fundamental things that they will not back away from. And two of those include some sections and portions of the Bella Act, um, as well as the National Health Insurance uh, Scheme. Of course, uh, we'll continue then to unpack uh, what is happening there um, at Lutuli House ahead of that address by ANC President Cyril Ramaphosa.